This is the next part of looking to Jeffrey Dahmer's victims. David Thomas was the father to a three-year-old girl he saw regularly. He was last seen in Milwaukee on September 24th, 1990. At the time of his disappearance, he didn't have a permanent address and his family hadn't heard from him in over a month. He was said to be living with the mother of his child, who was actually the one that reported him missing to his probation officer. Their relationship was a bit rocky and he wasn't always staying at the house. It is believed that David and Jeffrey met each other at the Grand Avenue Mall on September 24th, 1990. Dharma had asked David if he would come back to his apartment to pose nude for photos and have a couple of drinks and he offered him money to do so. David agreed and upon arriving at the apartment, Dharma gave David a drink that was heavily spiked. Once David passed out, Dharma realised that he wasn't actually Dharma's type. He was worried though that if David woke up, he'd be angry that he'd been drugged, so he decided to strangle him and dismember his body. In 1991, when Dharma was arrested, he admitted that David was one of his victims. Photos of David's body was found in the apartment and his family identified the pictures as being his. Unfortunately, David's remains were never found. He was 23 years old. 